moving on to Eddie. Welcome back. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing another class guide. Eddie, the saboteur, is going to be our uh, topic for today. As always, I'm going to go right to the point. This class guide includes skills. Um, it includes the chassis of Eddie, what abilities and items to use with him, then a little bit undrawn hand uh, review and a bit of gameplay footage. Afterwards, you should be ready to use him and uh, explore what Eddie brings to the table. And that's a lot, I can tell you that. Eddie is an absolute fantastic agent, one of my favorite ones. So let's take a look at what makes him so good. As a passive ability, Eddie uh, gains one ammo whenever he lands a crit. In the end game, that is around 60 to 80% of the time, depending on who Eddie attacks. And that will be one of the main sources of regaining ammunition. Um, but it is not the only one. His signature ability is Barrage. In the end game, uh, with an upgraded Barrage, it is not only a broader uh, cone, but it is also two signature charge abilities that he starts the adventure with. So Eddie really excels at dealing AoE damage to multiple, multiple opponents at the same time. Um, uh, Eddie does come with, I think at the beginning, six um, ammo. Later it is upgraded to eight or even more ammo, depending on what you're uh, using uh, with him. In terms of core abilities that you should uh, watch out for, the first one is Light Him Up. Super strong ability. Um, not only does it mark each of the targets, you can attack up to four targets, later on the upgraded version up to six targets, but it is also flushing them out of cover. This sets up a whole host of great plays afterwards. For starters, it can push enemies away that are having Bladestorm abilities, it can push enemies out of cover so that others can hit them easier, marking will always happen, so that um, on top sets up other characters like Purni, uh, to just benefit from marked enemies uh, with some of her abilities um, and regain that uh, their um, uh, their AP for killing those uh, targets. But even Eddie himself benefits from marking those targets because the second ability that you should look out for is Bullseye, uh, which is potentially the strongest single uh, target damage ability that Eddie has. If targets are marked, uh, there he will deal additional damage and it uh, reduces all of the other cooldowns. A nice uh, interaction with them is called Knock Him Down, which is a passive ability, uh, kills against marked enemies, resets uh, the cooldowns of Light Him Up. So the core loop of Eddie that you will see in the end game is Light Him Up against six targets, uh, which will deal a whole lot of damage, regain a lot of ammunition, then use Bullseye in order to kill one of the targets, uh, nicely resetting the Light Him Up for next round. Eddie comes with even more than that. He has a really strong kit. Um, his quick load ability, um, the passive will be improved over time. He gains more ammunition and more crit uh, stacking crit chance against targets. And um, he also regains um, another passive ability called Hot Lead uh, that allows him uh, to shred five armor on targets, albeit with a 50% uh, chance. So last ability to note for him is the Hidden Fast ability, 10% chance to gain one AP when he lands a crit, can activate twice a round. Keep in mind, he just hits a lot of uh, targets. So um, what you can do is, you can light them up, uh, mark everything, um, kill them with a bullseye. Typically that uh, will trigger hit him fast already once. Then light them up either again or use the barrage in order to uh, to hit um, enemies um, uh, with uh, just one ammunition because barrage is great. Uh, it only takes one ammo in order to hit all of the enemies in a cone. Barrage, uh, light him up into bullseye, into barrage, typically kills one enemy and leaves everyone else highly, highly uh, uh, debilitated, um, asking themselves why did they take so much damage. And he typically will at least get uh, hit him up fast once, if not twice around. So how can you make that uh, sort of damage even better? Well, great that you asked. Let's review his equipment in the cards. In terms of equipment, Eddie can really slot whatever he wants into uh, his normal consumables. 
I tend to use knockdown grenades, actual grenades, as well as a little bit of self-healing so that Eddie is more independent, but you can use whatever you want. That's really not his biggest um, problem. He's very flexible in that regard. The equipment and the undrawn hand is where Eddie um, becomes even better than he already is. For the equipment, I highly suggest the Endless Bandolier, which is passive and gives a 33% chance to reload one uh, ammo. You get that from Danny Belfort right over here. Endless Bandolier is an item that you can always get. That, together with his passive ability, almost uh, lets him never run out of ammunition. If you ever are low on ammo, use your signature ability and that typically provides enough ammunition to refill you. Very seldom that you actually need to reload. Uh, for M armor, I used Vitality Gear in this kind, uh, the third level, highest level upgrade, simply because I wanted the stress and uh, the, uh, the max stress and the max hit points, but you can use whatever you want. Eddie really doesn't rely so much on armor. Um, what he does rely on is a good weapon mod, and there are plenty of great options for Eddie. Since he is hitting so many targets, any uh, to hit ability or on hit ability really works out well. So for a long period of time I was using flash talismans and basically let him blind all of the targets. That is fantastic because imagine uh, dealing 100% uh, blind to all of the targets. You can use later Marteau talismans to apply shock and really reduce their movement capacity or I personally like to uh, run the Electromagnetical Atomizer because it increases weapon damage. It gives him a fixed armor shred, which is a bit of a weaker point. His uh, normal uh, kit allows him to shred armor and his damage that he deals oftentimes always bypasses armor, so he himself is fine. But if your team relies on uh, damage, uh, mm, uh, on armor shredding, then Eddie can contribute better to it if he has an armor shred on uh, the uh, weapon mod. And Electromagnetical Optimizer just does that for free on top of the 15% weapon damage. And on top of that, uh, there is a hit chance increase, which isn't bad because um, light them up works better if you actually hit all of the targets, even if they are in cover. And then a crit chance, which uh, nicely synergizes with all of his passive abilities. So Electromagnetical Optimizer, in my perspective, just an all around ultra good um, item. In terms of uh, undrawn hand, I would suggest with Eddie to use as much passive and on hit abilities as you can. I personally run him with the Forsaken super good a rare card uh, that allows him to have a 25% chance to inflict daze and if a target is already daze then he inflicts knockdown and believe me there will be with six attacks and then um, his signature ability there will be a lot of knockdown and dazed targets dazed means one ap reduced knockdown means two ap reduced both together means the enemy is out of combat for two entire rounds because they can't stand up from knockdown with just one um, action point. So this card alone makes him a great crowd controller. I then use uh, the Comet, uh, Comet as a passive 15% um, uh, hit chance. Yes, the reload gives inspired and that's all fine and dandy uh, because I'm using another card uh, that uh, works well with inspired, but he typically gets inspired from other sources. The 15% hit chance is what makes this card fantastic and doesn't let him miss almost ever. He typically hits every single enemy with that. And then we got um, that plus every single enemy with that plus the weapon mod that also gives to hit and then we got the passive wind which is a great card in itself upon being inspired the agent gains two speed which is good for repositioning and whilst inspired he has 20 percent chance to gain one ap up to three times per round uh, put that in context uh, together with the hit him up fast he will have two sources of gaining ap and they are only limited by the amount of people that he can hit so if you can kill someone with him reset your light them up and then continue lighting them up or use your signature ability then it's very likely that Eddie will not only knock everyone down and daze them but also on top of uh, uh, that gain more AP himself it is not uncommon that this Eddie build um, gains on average between four and five AP every single round um, 
so starting two and then uh, gaining two additional at least two to three additional per round so that makes him a very very strong build and an incredibly compelling and competent um, crowd controller damage dealer in one combo eddie is a force to be reckoned with let's see how that plays out in reality all right let's start with eddie we are finding ourselves in a fierce battle where eddie will need to help us to survive we got a huge uh, battalion of enemies from uh, behind here and we got wolfgang uh, wolfgang strum plus a couple of frontliners here 15 enemies is really kind of pushing it but eddie got nicely buffed by his teammates and is now ready to unleash terror and in order to do that what we're going to do is we're lighting up the enemy just to begin with and are seeing a lot of critical hits coming in so let uh, that sink in we're getting all of the money back we're getting even some more ap thanks to our uh, ability to uh, thanks to our card and our ability to self buff and we're up to 8 ap at this point now we know very well that once uh, we are killing something light them up will basically reset so yeah. what we're doing is we're killing something Based we're light uh, we're getting lighting uh, light them up uh, yet again and rinse and repeat four we're more dead. shots some die the great wind and our self buff uh, allows us to even regain an ap and uh, some others are knocked down mind you it's not only knocked down but it's knocked down plus days um, as eddie's shots first days and then a day's targets will be knocked down so this guy is not only taken out for one round but essentially for two rounds so we got wolfgang strum here sitting all mighty with 300 hit points but that's not a problem if you crit for 150 on marked targets uh, things are looking very good for you so uh, eddie can now start to, to progress a bit further uh, gets ballsy as he is ready to take on uh, more challenges and more challenges he should take by going all the way into the fray you can see more enemies are coming up um, we are focusing on those who have not yet been knocked down nice little bandolier great wind allows us to also regain one ap and we're starting to very much uh, daze and damage all of the enemies so you can see uh, eddie is still not done in an attempt to deal even further damage i think what we can do is move up here seeing the full extent of uh, the enemies uh, standing there let's us light it up you can see plenty plenty of damage that is going to happen and we have uh, successfully tased and knocked down a couple more targets so eddie uh healing himself and uh, feeling very good about uh, his current position needs to finish a couple of enemies and what better way of doing that than hitting this guy and still trying to resolve uh, the, the uh, enemies from the back he finally dazed that enemy and now since we have done that uh, we reset the light em up uh, yet again so one hit here and then we're going one hit here this guy definitely needs another hit one hit here, one hit here. And set up over there. Good. Although he is exposed, which I typically wouldn't use as the standard way of positioning him, we still have other teammates available. He could have easily just uh, moved further down. I just want to uh, let you consider how much damage he has done. So we had four uh, Void Beasts down here plus Wolfgang's drum. And we had um, 
a whooping nine people up here no eight people sorry there's three here and we had 15 overall so eight people up here at the end of eddie's massacre these guys are completely ripe for a kill spree with ingrid and eddie has just uh, not only uh, dealt damage but this guy is fully taken out for two rounds this guy is fully taken out for two rounds this guy is taken out for two rounds these two have lost one AP. This guy is taken out. And the only people who could, uh, he would need to go into cover. He wouldn't be able to reach us. The only uh, two that actually could act would be those two. And w if it would be a real scenario, I would have focused on them to just kill them instead of um, uh, just crowd controlling the others. So he has single handedly taken on um, 12 enemies and killed and disabled most of them. If that's not a strong build, then I don't know what is. Let me know um, if you enjoyed Eddie's Rampage just as much as I did. Uh, if that's the case, leave a comment down below. If you think there is anything that I could have improved with the build, uh, please let me know um, as well. And have a great day.